Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and tonight we've got a Galaxy DX979 in front of us. Uh, the person who owned this radio was complaining that the radio was drifting on sideband a bit, and Galaxies do tend to do that. Um, the 959s often are a little bit worse than the 979s. Many CB radios these days just have a little bit of issue with frequency stability after long talking. Uh, the radio didn't do it just, you know, uh, five, ten minutes of talking, but, you know, when he got into a 10 to 20 minute conversation, it heated up and started to drift. One beta, a way to combat that uh, is to unlock the clarifier on these radios. And these radios do have an external frequency jack on them, uh, frequency counter jack. So you can plug in an external frequency counter, which is going to be a six digit counter, is going to show you what frequency you're on. With the unlock clarifier, you, you then can adjust to place it exactly where you want to be to make sure you're on frequency. So if you do start to drift, it'll actually show you on that frequency counter. So that's a good combo for these radios. Uh, if you do have one that's having drifting issues, uh, you can unlock the clarifier and add the six digit frequency counter. Now to unlock the clarifier, we're going to show you um, where that modification takes place. You need to remove the top cover of the radio and we're going to look at the solder side of the board. Okay, so you will need to remove the top cover of the board. The area we're going to be working in is right in here. And uh, you can see here there's the channel selector, so we're going to just be a little bit to the left of the channel selector up top. Now to do this modification, you actually have to remove a couple of resistors, uh, or a resistor and a diode. And you're going to be removing R113 and D68. Now the first one uh, you'll be removing is R113 and the solder points are going to be located here and here. So there's, it just bridges this little gap right here, here and here and that's R113. Now it's going to be hard to see it from the other side of the board because there's a lot of wires and some other boards sitting on top of this. Really you're just going to have to go off where the board is to do the modification. So once again R113, you need to remove this which you'll have to solder this and push them through right here and right here. Now the next one you need to remove is D68 and D68 is going to be located just a little bit above uh, where R113 is. Uh, D68 is going to run uh, right here to right here, these two points. Once you removed uh, those two locations and uh, popped out the diode and the resistor, you need to add a wire and the wire is going to run from over here in this little solder pad right here. So you're going to connect one end of the wire here, the other end of the wire you're going to connect right here. Now remember this hole is going to be empty because R113 is going to be removed. So you're going to be able to connect the wire just on the outside here. So once again running from here over to here and that's about it. So let's do the modification and we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, for reference, uh, these are the two items that we removed. This is the uh, resistor, and it's fairly small, and this is the diode that we removed, so uh, resistor R113 and D68. We ran our uh, wire here and uh, from our two points, point there, point here, and the wire connects those two. We removed our resistor here and our diode there. Uh, when we've done that, we now have a radio uh, that will uh, slide on the clarifier, so the clarifier will slide, transmit, uh, and receiver lock together.